Hello, I'm Ha Young Joon. Today we are going to talk about the article Duna in the General Motors company that Mary Barra says. As you can see, we have five members in our group, including me, who are Dehi, Hoban, Shio Chen, and Sarah. In the introduction, I'm going to briefly talk about what we will cover in our presentation. First of all, we will talk about the background information of General Motors, which is our chosen company and the CEO of Mary Barra. Secondly, I will shortly mention what is an ethical dilemma and which ethical dilemma Marie Barra faced and the way she managed the dilemma. Also, its impact on the organization. Next, we will discuss and critically analyze the leadership styles of the reader, that is, situational and transformational leadership styles. Lastly, we will provide a summary and recommendations on how leadership and management standards can be improved if similar dilemma arise in the future. Now I hand over to Dehi. Thank you, Ayo. My name is Dehi. Here is a table of contents. Our contents will start with the introduction. Next is the background of GM and Mary Barra. And then we will explain ethical dilemmas, Mary Barra's leadership style, and conclusions and recommendations. Now, I'm going to explain the background of General Motors. General Motors is one of the largest motor mobile companies and its reputation is still maintained. Durant founded GM in 1908 and owns car brands such as Buick, Cadillac, Chevrolet, and GMC. Currently headquartered in Detroit, United States, it works with 155,000 employees who speak 75 languages and 6 continents are GM's market. GM has announced that it aims to produce most vehicles as electric vehicles by 2035 and will invest $27 billion by 2026 to achieve this. Furthermore, GM partnered with Microsoft last year to accelerate its goals. Here is some information about Mary Barra. She began her career in 1980 as a co-op student at GM Labs, where she was Senior Vice President in 2011 and General Vice President in 2013 to design, engineer, and quality for vehicle launches. Since 2014, the following year, she has been Chairman and CEO of GM. Through her leadership, GM has focused on reducing collisions and emissions and producing cars without casualties. She is devoting herself to customer experience and developing advanced technologies for the autonomous driving of GM vehicles. This is our information about GM and Mary Barra. Thank you for listening and I will hand it over to Hayo. Thank you, Dehi. Now I start with ethical dilemma definition. An ethical dilemma involves making a choice between two or more moral values and in making a decision or in taking action you will compromise or violate some other moral principles or values. It is also can be described as a situation that involves making a choice, decision and action for a problem or a situation where you feel that you don't know what to do or which choice to be made. The Greek term translates to two homes. The dilemma hunts provide only two options such as truth or untruth. Now I'm going to talk about the ethical dilemma that Mary Fair faced. It is recall scandal of 2014. In the first three months of the year 2014, the General Motors recalled 2.6 million cars because of faulty ignition switches, which led to 96 deaths approximately since 2005. The reason being is that the faulty switches can turn off the engines as well as the airbags during driving. The surprising fact was General Motors was aware of the faulty switches since 2003, but not reacted much because the cost of fixation was very high. During her first initial days as CEO, she faced a lot of uncertainty and questions about this fault in the cars. She also said we had a cost culture before, and now this has been shifted to customer culture. When complaints started to raise, 
An internal investigation within the company took place, where engineers recommended the redesigning of the kit and management provided the consent for the same. But later, the decision was retracted as the production costs were very high for making these changes. Thank you. Now I hand over to Bhuvan. Thank you, Heo. Myself, Bhuvan Tumala Pelta, and I will discuss the two options available for General Motors and Miri Bara in order to resolve this ethical dilemma. There are mainly two options available for the General Motors and also for Mary Barra to resolve this ethical dilemma. The firstly is the moral responsibility towards the customers. They have to be very precise towards their services and products that they are providing to the customers. Like it has to be safe and secure for the customers in order to use that. So, it, the, so it's the moral responsibility. When it comes to ethical responsibility, GM has to follow certain rules and regulations and it has to follow certain path in order to maximize the benefits of its company's stakeholders. Like whosoever is investing on the company is the employee, so it has to make more and more profits in order to satisfy the stakeholders. So when, so seeing these two options, uh, General Motors choose the second option which is ethically responsible because at the time when they started to see this problem in 2000 at the uh, in the early stage like 2005 but they haven't they haven't took the moral responsibility option and they took the ethical responsibility option so in the next slide i'm going to explain the implications and what kind of responses they have taken in order to resolve this ethical dilemma So talking about the implications on General Motors as well as Mary Barra, when this issue was very severe in 2014, she faced a lot of challenges in terms of public, in terms of customers and in terms of company's reputation over its, over its services towards the customers. So as a first measure, General Motors fired 15 of their employees because they haven't taken this uh, taken this ignition problem with due respect so that it can it could be resolved at the earliest and secondly nhtsa which is a public a uh, public uh, authority like uh, of a com of a country uh, penalized the company for about 35 million dollars and a com and the company of co means obviously has to pay a compensation to the victim victims like uh, victims of the accidents uh, for about $20,000. So it's a very huge financial loss for the company because when the company started to recall, there was no revenue generated for the company. And also by paying these compensation and penalty, the company went into a lot of losses. So one quality measure that they have taken is they have to, they took a shift from the cost to customer culture which is now they are focusing more on the customer, focusing on the quality and the safety of the customers in terms of the products. And finally, there was a criminal invest. There was a time when, when, when the Congress in Congress uh, asked for a criminal investigation. So when coming to the response actions they have taken, firstly, they have replaced all the faulty cars in the market. Secondly, they have provided free rental vehicles free of cost to the affected drivers because of this ignition problem. And there was another internal review of vehicles which caused the, which caused them high. And also one good measure was they have restructured their engineering and quality department so that in the future they handle these problems well and there's no chance of any problems in terms of service delivery to the customers. Now I hand up hand over to Daisy for leadership for leadership uh, delivery. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is Xiao Qian Liu. Thanks for Bowen introduced the ethical dilemma of JM company facing in their business. Here in my part, I will focus on the situational leadership and analyze Mary Barry's behavior. First, I will identify the situational leadership style. 
When it's talk about the situational leadership style, it's up to the leaders consider about readiness level of the team member to survive in every situation. It promote the team members adaptability and facilitability, and bring them a domestic working environment. And leadership style is a behavior pattern of a leader who attempt to influence others, which divided into directive behavior and supportive behavior. Directive behavior, which means help individual to finish the goals by giving their directions and muscles, and is often only with one communication. Supportive behavior. Individuals help the follower complete the goals, and they will feel encouraged and comfortable in this working environment. And the situational leadership style depends on the leadership in situation, each including directing, coaching, supporting, and delegating leadership style. As we know, to be a leader is a process. Mary Barry probably is the first woman in automobile industry. She has moved through a various of roles since graduating from GM Institute, from quality inspector to director of human results. All of those valuable experiences give her unique opportunity to develop her leadership skills. And. Analyze her leadership style. After my colleague Bowen analyzed the ethical dilemma about when she facing the biggest challenge in her career path, manufacturing issues related to car engagement resulting in more than one hundred days, she was faced a problem at the one time. As the leader wrote, she. Re-identify re the company's culture and come up with the solutions. Focus J M onto the three factors: excellence, customers, and relationship. Name this program as a speak up for safety. To improve the internal relationship of J M, she motivate her in uh, her employers report ensure instead of a parents mad muscle. Pushing their employers' finished objective, so that she tried to change into the supportive leadership style with a high supportive and low directive, asking for feedback from her staff and recommending to ask her staff, "What's your opinion?" This is because she would like to encourage her staff helping with improvement. Improvement, as she said, behavior. It's not an inspired slogan. Determine the culture of an organization and give them supportive and the right behavior. Directions will help them promote their ability. Next one, I will analyze her leadership style. Through the theory of a leadership style, it can be identified into five: authority, participative, delegative. Transaction leadership and transformational leadership. After analyze her behavior, I think she used transformational leadership. As a leadership role, she would like to encourage her staff and solve the problem together, and the follower would like to be achieve it. Transfer leadership style into the right way. And next one is about human skills. When it's talk about her main skill, I think human skill is necessary for the leader. She gives trust and respect for everyone, and lead the GM through the problem. Adjusting her parents' leadership style into the right way depends on the different situation. If her group cannot be agreement, she will show initiative and confidence to them. This is. My analyze about her leadership style. Now I will pass my presentation to my colleague Sarah. Thank you, Daisy. So to sum up, we can say that the general model is just a case of ethical dilemma that was first addressed and ethically by the company's management. For ten years, the manufacturer hide emission switch issues. This was a moral choices 
that cost many individual lives and seriously injured countless others. So as a consequence, different stakeholders responded to the circumstances and the organization faced new obstacles. Numerous lawsuits brought by customers against the businesses resulted in the settlement of some of the claims for billions of dollars. Additionally, the corporations was the target of investigations by government bodies, which led to the imposition of fines. These are just a few of the repercussions that judgment like the one of General Motors made were unethically may have. Despite the fact that the firm has stabilized under the direction of her CEO, Mary Barra, it is crucial to remember that the business climate circumstances will develop that endanger the viability or growth of the organization. The management capacities to make quite moral judgment that contribute to the containment of the crisis rests on the management ability to successfully navigate these scenarios. So Mary Barra, she used many of a uh, different style of leadership. So the first one is the situational with high supportive and low directive by encouraging their employees to improve at work and the transformational styles also by focusing on skills development of their staff. Concerning the recommendation, if I was like Mary Barra, I would use the same style of, leader, of leadership. So since four years, due to her flexibility and also adaptability, as well as her background in electrical engineering and business administration, uh, administration combined with her achievement-oriented behavior and strength in maintaining a relationship with her co-workers while navigating teamwork and using it to its fullest potential, Mary Barra has accomplished an astounding amount. Also with her imaginative and future focused mindset, the, possibili the possibilities are unlimited and her success will only increase. So one thing that Mary Bear can might or can do better is identifying the area where her employees are weak and figuring out how to make up for those flaws. So it is really recommended for her uh, and for her employees to provide a follow-up comment on her leadership. And these are our references. Thank you for watching.